This ice cream van, I swear down. Nobody wants ice cream, okay? It's bloody eight o'clock in the evening. Meh, 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 meh. Is it like my uh, Fanta bottle? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're actually just going to play with some makeup, do a cool look because I haven't been that creative with my makeup lately. And we're also going to review some of the new XX Revolution products. So I was sent a bunch of this stuff. We're mainly going to focus on some of the foundation shades. There's two types of foundations and some of the... Um, other products that they've sent me as well but yeah we're going to talk a bit about all these releases that are coming out and hopefully we'll come up with a cool look so as always we're going to start with brows and they came out with an xx fine brow i have the shade soft black firstly i just want to say i'm crazy impressed by this packaging specifically because it's so heavy it's so sleek and as you can see it looks really cool so there's some like holographic effect to it and it's double-ended looks like it's super precise as well but let's try this i've already gelled down my brows like i always do recently because i kind of like the way it looks back to our tutorial um so i'm just gonna roughly fill this in very pigmented definitely gonna keep a more softer hand with this i already like how precise the brow pencil is Okay, I can't say I'm mad at this brow pencil. Will I use it? Yes, so I'm gonna put this in my daily makeup bag. I love a good brow pencil. And I'm just gonna take some of my Tarte Shape Tape just to carve my brows up. Loving the way my brows are looking. They're bigger than usual, but it's okay now i do have to say i wasn't too impressed with the eyeshadow palettes i was sent a few the only one that really stood out to me was this blue one and they're actually quite pigmented it's actually a cute pretty quad we'll actually use a bit of this shade today because i want to go for a specific look basically my inspiration is a fanta bottle today i've had this fanta bottle sitting here for months because i've just i've wanted to do a look on it and just never got around to doing it. So I'm gonna do it today, okay? I need my inner creativity to come back. Stila actually came out with these new liquid shadows and I'm gonna use the matte shade first. These shades are actually pretty new and I'm gonna start with blue jean and we're gonna put this all over the lid. I'm just gonna pat that in place but yeah guys don't you feel like these constant releases sometimes can be overwhelming it can be overwhelming as an influencer who films reviews and tries all these products don't get me wrong I love it but sometimes there is so much I just don't even know where to put my head out and as a consumer as an actual buyer I don't even know what to buy anymore especially when it comes to palettes I feel like palettes eyeshadow palettes are just coming out like crazy by a few brands um Colourpop comes to mind Deaf New Makeup Revolution and all their sister brands and sometimes I just feel like because it's coming out so quick sometimes the quality is compromised a little a little bit a little bit now don't get me wrong I love Makeup Revolution One, some of my all time favourites are from the brand right but I do want to keep it 100% real. Like, I'm not going to even lie, even Huda Beauty as a brand comes out with crazy amount of releases. Like, lip balms came out, now there's the mascara, which, to be honest, I'm dying to try out anyways. But I was excited about this brand, but I'm just like, what's so different with this than Revolution Pro and Makeup Revolution? I heart makeup. And I know there's other ones that are not coming to my mind right now. I'm keeping a more graphic eye look right now. It's not doing too bad, this eyeshadow. So yeah, when the, um, when I opened all these products, I wasn't too fond of the eyeshadow palettes. Like, there was one with all shimmers on it. And personally, I prefer like an, an eyeshadow palette that has a good combination. They also have like a huge palette that came out, um, which is really good. There's some good shades in it, but like, 
is it anything different to what I already have? And I'm sure like the, the, the pigment's insane. But even the colour combination I wasn't too fond of. Whilst I feel like Colour Colourpop eyeshadows have really good eyeshadow palette combinations. Like the shades are really nicely picked. I'm actually really happy with the shade of this. But we're going to set it with um, using this experiment quad. And we're just going to use a little bit of this shade. And we're going to pack it on top. This is very pigmented. I literally have to like literally just dip it. Actually very pigmented. I like I'm liking the gradient I'm doing here. Ooh, that is nice. Just do the same on the other side. I'm just gonna take some more of my concealer, my tart shape tape, just to kind of really carve this out. And I'm just gonna kind of Oh, on the top two just so that it's just extra sharp but I don't know am I exaggerating a little bit let me know what your thoughts are but I just feel like especially revolution they're coming with crazy amount of releases but I can't fault a lot of their products, but some of them I'm just like, really? My most favourite were the influencer collaborations with Soph and Tammy. Like, those palettes really did stand out. Okay, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Super clean. Now onto the really exciting part. I actually bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, electric cake liners. I got this combination which has a purple, white and orange. And I really had my eye on this because I thought it was perfect for my Fanta inspiration i don't know if anyone's done this before like i don't i'm pretty sure someone's recreated a fanta bottle before but but yeah we're going to be using some orange and some white i don't know what i'm going to do i'm scared but you basically just need water to activate these and they're so pigmented i tried some on my hand and they're insane so i think i'm going to start with the orange i don't know how this is going to turn out but these are all the shades right here I don't know if I can talk throughout this to be honest but even over like the blue it's crazy intense I think that's the best I can do honestly so I'm just gonna try and replicate that on the other side So I'm just gonna let that dry. I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this is looking so far. Like, did I do that? The liner is super pigmented. I'm so impressed. I might have to get the other one just so I can play around with it. I find that if you want that real intensity, you can go over it twice and then you get like good pigment and no like patches, I think. Because it's water activated, you can get some like patchiness, but I think that's normal even with just like normal water activated products that I've used with SFX stuff as well. So yeah, two layers will give you good, like good graphic line. Now I do want to use the white, but I don't know where to use it. I'm actually really feeling that. I think I'm going to stop there. I'm happy with the way that looks. I just feel like the white needs to come in a little bit, so I might do that. So the brush that I really like is the Sigma Winged Liner EO6 brush. It's super precise and it's just made my life so much easier. We're just going to imitate the orange line, but just above it basically. Just really trying to keep it like a hand. I'm just trying to imitate the other side. So I've joined it from that white line all the way to... It's kind of imitating this orange line and replicating more towards the inner corner. But can you guys see what I mean with these liners? They even like on a really dark blue, it's showing up pretty well. And now I'm just kind of like... Bringing that to the inner corner as I would with a normal liner. And just close and open your eyes slightly. Just wait till it dries a little bit. 
to see if you like the way it looks. So now I'm just going to take some of that Steel Art Blue shade, Blue Jeans, and just kind of clean that bit up because I just feel like I've come too, too much towards the outer corner. And then I'm going to go back in with the shadow just to just make this bit dark again. This is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill 42 brush. And then I'm just going to go back in with the white one more time just so that it's really pigmented. Coke and mascara, I might just put some lashes on. The eye look collaboration with the Plastic Boy. This is bad and bougie. I really do like these lashes. Okay, whilst my lash is drying, I know it looks a bit funny right now. I'm gonna clean it up later. We can start off with skin. I actually came out with one a liquid skin foundation, double fix foundation, and they've also got a glow skin foundation. Um, and it's a luminous. So I guess you have a long wear, maybe more on the matte side, and a more luminous, glowy. Um, foundation on the other hand and um, you guys know I have dry skin so I'm really going towards the glowy foundation but we will also do half the face with um, the long wear one just to see um, and if I do really like these I'll update the info box but by the end of this tutorial we'll see if there's any smile lines because that's the first thing I look for any cracking any dryness these are like the stuff that I see usually when I don't like a foundation but yeah let's just see how this applies First of all, I'm just so happy with this eye look, guys. I know it's really different. It's not for everyone. So they actually came out with a H2 Glow Bomb Primer. The packaging is insane. I can give that to them. Um, it has like these faux droplets on it to make it look like quenched. Um, they also do have a quench version, but I went for this glow version. Ooh, definitely looks like I would want to live in there, like go for a swim or something in that. I'm just going to put some on my skin. It definitely has some sort it has some sort of sparkle on it. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. You can't really see it, but there's definitely like glitter bits. I don't mind wearing this under my foundation. It feels really nice on the skin so far. The only thing is that it has these really big specks of blue glitter that's all over my face. You can see it. But there's definitely glitter on my face. But let's just take a moment for the eyes, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Meh, 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 meh. I don't know if I would use that again. I'm not too fond. I literally have got glitter all over my hands. Mm. Don't even know where I put the lid. But anyways, mm. I like how it feels. I don't know if I, I don't know how I feel about the glitter. I might actually just go with the Hydra Quench Bomb because this is just clear. Kind of smells like men's product. But yeah, that feels, it feels the same to me. So yeah, I prefer this one. This is something I would use. Like it feels exactly the same. But yeah, like I said, if I do really get along with this product, I will let you guys know in future videos and I will try my best to update the info box. I have the glow foundation and kind of the long wear foundation, both in the shade 11.2. So I'm gonna do the glow side here. Oh, my face is super tacky. I'm gonna start with a little bit and we're just gonna buff this into the skin. really happy with the shade of course i like that they've kept kind of like the sh same shade matching system to like the other foundations that they have with the other like sister brands i don't know how i feel about this foundation my face feels really tight with this primer uh, la, 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 la. i'm just gonna put the tiniest amount on my forehead I'm gonna be honest, I don't like how that's sitting on my skin. I'll do a close up in a bit. Okay, let's try the liquid skin foundation. So you've got a glow skin and a liquid skin. So we're gonna do the liquid skin now in the shade 11.2. Don't use the same brush, maybe. I'm gonna go in with a different brush. Ooh, they both have different scents. There's definitely a significant difference. You see a glow there, but here, like, there's definitely less of a glow. 
but I like the way this one's sitting on my skin rather than this one. This one's really separating, especially around my mouth area. Whilst on this side, it's staying put. So I did receive some of the other shades. This is 11.2. Then we have 11.5, 12, 12.2, and 12.5. 12 is definitely more on a rosy side. 11.2 is like my perfect shade. Um, 11.5 is more on an orangey shirt side. This really reminds me of NC44 for some reason, 11.5. Whilst I'm more like NC43-ish, NC44, but it's got the right tone for me, like a more olivey. And that's what I get in the 11.2. So yeah, those are some swatches for you guys. So they also came out with a super fix concealer. It has a peculiar doe foot applicator. Not mad at it. really like the shade so far bloody hell look at that concealer oh no this concealer's got coverage so that blended really well it has a slight stickiness to it coverage is insane no i really like that so i'm just going to use some of my laura mercier powder to set that in place because it's more on the sticky side i'm really going to set this in place and more on the glowy side too. I don't know what it is, but this foundation is really showing, like accentuating every single bump I have on my face, whilst the matte one is really like smoothed everything out. I don't usually wear matte foundations. I would have loved to prefer this, but I don't like the way it's sitting on my skin, accentuating everything. And trust me, I've got really good glowy foundations that don't do this. I can literally see every single pore bump everything i'm gonna grab the sculpting bronzer by revolution pro i've really been liking this this is in the shade cacao my face feels so tight from the primer is that normal i like how the bronzer is applied on both sides to be honest i'm gonna go in with some of my primark blush in in muscovado They also came out with some highlighters. I'm gonna use the shade Nimbus, which looks like this. It's like a champagne rose shade. It's nice because it's not like really sparkly. It's like those really subtle, smooth glow powders I really like. No, that's nice, look at that. Do you think I can wear the orange on my waterline? I don't think you're supposed to wear the orange on your waterline, so try not to do that, but I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the blue just underneath. I'm really liking the effect. I'm actually gonna take the glitter side of the Stila liquid eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner. It's just like a subtle sparkle. I'm just going to use some of my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Cold Brew. I've been using this a lot. I can't find any of my other lip liners. I swear they disappear every single time. Then I'm going to use some of the uh, Le Chocolat Multra Matte Lipstick by L'Oreal in the shade Ginger Bomb. Literally smells like chocolate cake. Can't forget any mascara on our lower lashes. Hey guys this is the final look i hope you enjoyed this quick review and just fun makeup video i really am glad that i did this do give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to do more creative looks like this i don't know if you guys are interested in it but i i just needed this for myself like just to have fun with makeup and these anastasia liners are bomb they are bomb if you like to play with makeup you need these in your life um with the foundation no, first of all, I really like the concealer. I see no creasing so far. It's super smooth under the eyes, so I'm definitely going to be wearing this more. The liquid foundation side is really good. Um, still not too much of a fan of the, of the um, glowy side, to be honest. It overall does look pretty flawless, to be honest. And I just feel like it really accentuates everything. Whilst this side kind of really smoothed everything out. Or it's just my skin that's quite bumpy, I don't know. Don't usually see this here. But anyways, 
these are the eyes i'm so proud of them is it like my uh santa bottle yes do you know what i'm gonna drink this this has been waiting for me to drink this for like a month but honestly you cannot fault them for the shade range that they have I just feel like they cater to so many people. Yes, they are coming out with a crazy amount of products and now a whole new brand. Um, I don't know how the hell they're doing it. Like growing up, there was never any of this stuff, like any shades that I could use on my skin um, in shops, especially in drugstore shops. So this is a huge step forward. I can only like praise them for just being, first of all, really affordable, quite accessible and just caters to so many people out there so i really do love them for that i just think sometimes the eyeshadows can be a bit much and not all of them are nice like these i also got these um pigments and they didn't really stand out to me like the liquid shadow was quite watery for me that's just my personal opinion um but i mean honestly the, mo the thing that i've been most impressed with is the concealer primer i'm not too sure like the stick my face still feels stiff it's weird i don't know if i like the feeling i think the packaging of this brand is insane as well i'm just going to use the mist which smells pretty good so i just put the stop the clock fixing mist and it has a coconut and avocado extract with antioxidants so i think i am pretty pleased with this it smells really good it didn't make me look extra wet so i'll keep giving this a go and let you guys you'll see it in my videos if i do really like it i would definitely have to say i prefer the silk side which is so weird because i have dry skin but i don't see any flakiness i don't see any smile lines i actually see more of a smile line on the glow side compared to the silk side anyways thank you so much for watching guys please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye